Hey guys, this is Superman here, and today I have a tutorial video for you guys requested by some random person, uh, which is a really, really good thing, you guys. If you guys want a specific uh, tutorial, then please head on and uh, comment down below uh, in the uh, in the comment section, and uh, yeah, just say, hey, could you guys do could you do a tutorial on this? And I'll be like, yeah, finally, someone rec recommended a tutorial video, <laughs> and I don't have to create some bad ideas for tutorial videos. But yeah. Today's tutorial video, as you guys saw in the in the in the title, it is um how to create fancy text or how to create better text for my uh, for intros or just anything really. So yeah, let's head on and uh, open up Cinema 4D here. Um, let me. Uh, I'm gonna open up a better room, like a light room. Uh, open, open. Where is my light room? Where is my light room? Where is my light room? There it is. Okay. All right, here it is. This is my HDRI Lightroom, and uh, it makes my text look better. You guys can find these online or buy them from like random places. But yeah, I found this one free. I'm not sure where, but I found it, and uh, yeah, it's a good one. So yeah, um, I might put that in the description. If this video gets, uh, let's say, 10 likes, then I will put this HDRI Lightroom in the description. So yeah. Mhm. Mm Check back, and it might have ten likes, and I'll, it'll have um a link in the description. So yeah, let's hurry up on and get in, uh into this video because it's been about a minute and thirty seconds since I've been talking. So um, uh, let's hurry up and uh, open up our mo text, just a random object, something completely random, and uh, here it is. Here is our ugly text, our normal, just normal, have nothing on it, just text just ugly text so what you want to do is choose a good font change your text make it all cool looking and then comes the interesting part where you just start to design your text and make it look cooler and make it fancy and stuff like that so first things first you've got to open up your materials uh, I have a couple of materials here where are my materials these are my fancy materials right here Got a bunch of grunges and a bunch of textured colors, which I like. I like colors. So, easiest thing to do is just plop the plop the color onto your text, and that's it. And then you can just render your intro. But look how ugly that is. Look how hideous that is. Like seriously, it's ew. Like, like ew. It doesn't do anything. So what you want to do is you go to your text, I mean your um, material right here, the small little icon right here. Uh, you go down to projection right here. You go click UV mapping because that's the standard for all Cinema 4D um, textures. You go, you drop down on UV mapping and you click cubic. That'll make the texture look so much more clean. Um, and then you click seamless, so it makes it way better than it looks usually. Um, so now look at the text. It's all sparkly and awesome and the actual texture shows on the text. So you can stop here and that's it. Like you can just stop here and uh, just be like, okay, I like that. Or you can go a step further and add two colors to the text, which would make it pop out more and uh, more appealing to the eyes. So what you do is to create two colors, you go to your mode text, you click caps right here. And you go, so there's a start cap, there's an end cap, and there's the type, uh, not type, the fillet type right here, which we will be messing around with to create two te two colors on the text. So what you do is, go you, once you go to your start start cap, you click cap, you go down to fillet cap. That's what I like to do. I like to change it to fillet cap. Don't click fillet or just random cap. Um, that kind of messes it up. And uh, for the end cap, you can also change it to fillet cap. And then... You see these numbers 5 and 5, you can change that to about a bajillion or just 1 or 0, but I like to keep it at 5, which is the normal, and you can change this one as well, it just changes the size of the thing, and it looks ugly if you change it for, if you have it too much. Um, yeah, I keep it at normal. Another thing you can do is, you go down to fillet type right here, uh, as you see it says convex, that makes it look like this where it has the thing popping out it makes it look like it pops out um, and it kinda looks cool I like it. it's decent but you can take it a step forward and click engraved if you click engraved it creates an engraving just like it says it's engraved it creates an engraving right here on the edges that makes it look uh, cool but but that's the thing 
you you only have one color on there and it kind of blends the engraving in it so what you want to do is you have one of this color you have to drag the same color on again and then you drag on your second color whatever it is I'll, I'll choose my metal texture so you click the first one you go over here I'll go on to selection and type in capital C one and you go to the next one type in capital C two. Oh yeah and don't forget to change this to cubic and seamless as well change all of them to cubic and seamless um, and change this one to nothing like don't don't create a selection on it and then move this tech uh, the the one color that's different from the three to the front now it looks like this where the text has an outline that pops out and makes it look cool I stopped doing this because I found out a much cooler way which I will show you in about a minute um so yeah this is one way that you can do it if you don't want to go to the hassle of actually maintaining two text objects which I will show you which is a cool thing that I like to do for my intros um, so yeah this is a really cool way uh, for you to have two colors and um, actually have it pop out where you can see text with the engraving in it um, here's how it looks if you have it at normal convex right here you have the thing but it's not engraved and it's just like it makes it look at pop out ish I guess you could say that but yeah it's cool I like it I like the stuff like that so yeah mm -hmm. now what I like to do I'm gonna delete this or actually you know what? I'm just gonna delete all the colors and then change it to fill a cap none or no just a cap and a cap that's it all right I changed it to normal just normal text object now this is where I, what I love to do with my text or my uh, colors and stuff like that for my intros what I like to do is click mo text control C control V you create another text object for the first text object you need to make this significantly bigger so you can actually do what you want to do so I like to go with 75 centimeters for uh, for the first one and uh, let's say 30 centimeters for the second one for the first one you choose your main color your body color and that'll be blue for me because I I'm just gonna work with blue and uh, metal color for you guys for this whole tutorial uh, that'll be blue for me that's the body color and then my second color my metal color I put on the other one remember change these to oh wait sorry about that change these to yeah uh, cubic and seamless so it looks cool um, now what you want to do is you want to click this little tab right here and you able you will be able to see the separation between the two text objects this from here to here is your first text object or no this one the second text object mo text one which is 30 centimeters which is a smaller one and from here to here is your 75 centimeter one which is your mo text like your normal mo text so what you want to do is you take you click on the mo text one and you move it so it's center between the two I mean between the the bigger one the 75 centimeter one now what you want to do is you click the motex one or no actually go back to this and you click motex one the one with uh, the smaller depth um, you click caps and you go and click fill a cap and fill a cap again now what I like to do is I don't like to make this too much so I like three and three again so now what it does is it gives a nice pop out effect now this is a little bit harder since you have to do like five extra steps maybe but it's worth it because it makes it look so much cooler it actually makes it look like it's actually it actually has an outline that's uh, sticking out and uh, cool yeah just cool I liked it I like what I, I like I like this I like it. it makes it look cooler so yeah you can mess around with the colors change this to green if you want blue and green that's just that's just ew kind of like look at that ew oh my goodness oh my goodness let's change that to orange blue and orange is fine I guess let yeah you know what why are we messing around with colors let's stop messing around with colors but yeah blue and yellow let's go back to the metal yep okay we're sticking with the metal but yeah um that's that's pretty much uh, making putting colors on text and making it look cooler but now if you guys want to know how to create um uh textures and uh, colors met materials then uh, 
that'll be for a different tutorial video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, remember to comment down below if you want um, a specific tutorial um, that that you want, like something that you need help on. I'll make a tutorial video on it. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Have a good day, and uh, peace.